Hi guys, welcome back to CP Mom and Daughter. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video. And also go back and watch the other videos if you would like. So today I want to talk about one thing that I experienced recently that that I'd be careful and putting people in this situation in general. But from my perspective, I would be careful putting people that have children with disabilities in this situation. And that is when you're in a big group going around and being like, what did you do for Christmas break? What did you do for Christmas break? And having everybody say something. Putting it in a way that everybody absolutely feels like they have to say something. This can be uncomforting <coughs> excuse me, for multiple reasons, whether you have a child with a disability or not. But speaking from somebody that has a child with a disability and having a disability myself, going on trips and doing things, it's extra work. It's extra money that could be spent on, you know, therapies and medical things and things like that. So when you're put in a situation like I was, we were in a room and we were going around and saying what we did over Christmas break and other people, and I'm not blaming them for for how they spent their Christmas breaks. I am glad that they were able to get away and do these different things. I just wish that I didn't feel like I had to put out there doing nothing up against what they did. It just, it didn't feel good to me. It didn't feel enjoyable. So we're going around and you know, they're saying, I went to the beach, I went to the mountains, I went to this park, I did this and that. We stayed home. <clears throat> and I don't feel like any, any person in any situation should feel bad for having circumstances where it's either easier to stay home maybe they don't have the financial resources to go out and about and, and do different things. You know, maybe, maybe their spouse had to work and so it's harder for them to take their children out. My point is, it's important to be sensitive. Now, in this particular situation, I was not a part of the original meeting and I had walked in, and I walked in while they were doing this. Me <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe if I had been there originally, we wouldn't have done this, but we've done this in times past as, as well. And I think it's okay on a one-on-one -on -one situation. If you're talking to somebody, you'd be like, hey, how was your Christmas break? How was it fun? Were you able to do something enjoyable? Um, you know, and then if you ask them, then they have the right to ask you. But being in a big group, like, I was like, should I feel embarrassed, you know, that my family didn't go out <coughs> and do? Should I, um, you know, like, how should I feel? How should I react? And then how should I feel about what they did? Like as a believer we're we're taught to not um covet 
or or envy people you know we're not supposed to want what they have but that that can be a struggle at times and so I sat there and said you know I was like oh I, I didn't do anything I, I stayed home because we had one week off where we didn't have any therapies or nothing and then we had therapy the other two weeks that we were on break and um, the other teacher was like, well, you went to this one thing that I was at. And I was like, yeah, but even that was work. Like my kids were the only ones there, only kids there. Um, my poor husband even filled out a place. And so they left and I stayed longer, but yeah, it's, I don't expect everybody to be thinking about like, oh, should I say this? Should I do that? I need to be sensitive to people around me that might have kids with um, disabilities or special needs. <coughs> but it's also just important to, to think about like just people in general. Are they going to be okay with that question? Am I possibly making somebody feel uncomfortable or, or pointing them out? It's kind of like the same thing of like when you're a teacher when um, in class it's not good to force everybody to read out loud because those kids that struggle with reading out loud or with just reading in general you're pointing out their faults you're pointing out their struggles and and um, challenges and putting that on display for everybody else to see. And so it's just not, it's not a good approach. Um, and uh, something that, that, that should be avoided because we're supposed to lift each other up and encourage each other. We never want to purposely put somebody in a situation where they might feel less or brought down. And so that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something from it. Just to be careful with, with group conversations and what's brought up and we'll see you next time. Bye. God bless.